Hello, today we are going to construct a limited entry decision table for a salary scale for programmers. According to the example here, there are three grades. Applicants for posts are placed on the grade according to the following criteria. Applicants who have completed National Service or NS with either a degree in computing or three years programming experience are placed on grade two. Applicants who have completed NS who have both a degree in computing and three years in programming experience are placed on grade three. Applicants without NS with either a degree in computing or three years in programming experience are placed on grade one. Applicants without NS who have both a degree in computing and three years in programming experience are placed on grade two. All other applicants are rejected. Okay, so we're going to start by building that. The first thing we have to do is to find what our conditions are. And um, according to this, the conditions we see national service. That seems to be a condition. We, we see it. We see it here quite often. Oh, what I'm going to do is maybe I'll just center everything here. So we have national service as one uh, condition. Another condition is a degree in computing. We see that here. So I'll just call that degree. And there's an one, another one here, th three years programming experience. I'll just call that programming. Okay. And let's see if there's anything else. Okay, this first one, we have national service, degree in computing, programming experience. We have those three. NS, we already have. Degree in computing, we already have. Programming experience, we already have. Uh, NS, we have. Degree in computing, we have. Programming experience, we have. It looks like we have them, all three of them. And, uh, without NS, we have programming experience we have, degree in computing. One thing I want to mention, we don't really have no NS, but when we when we list out the condition alternatives, uh, when we put N for NS, that actually covers that condition. Okay, so I think these are the three conditions that we have. I'm just going to left justify these. And now what we have to look for are the different actions. What are the different actions that are possible? Well, let's see. Usually you find the actions uh, as, the con as what happens if the conditions are met. So here we see, like for in the first bullet, that if they have an S with either a degree or three years programming, they're placed on grade two. So here we go. That's, that's a pretty good um, indicator that that's an action. So we have a grade two. We have grade three we have grade one. So let's write those down. Okay. And the one thing is the grade, the grade one, we can put these in any, in any order. And I'll, I'll just do it by grade one, grade two, and grade three. And I will, I'll left justify these. Okay. So now we have the we have our conditions, our three conditions, and we have our three actions. And now what we have to do in the second top right quadrant of our decision table, we have to put the condition alternatives. So here's where I will put the condition alternatives. So we can have for here's where we put remember with the truth tables uh, we put all the different boolean uh, variables all the different values that the, that they can take and it's very very similar here so we could have yes 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 there could be um, yes yes no there could be some logic that uh, in that could cause inconsistencies but for now we just list everything and uh, we'll deal with any inconsistencies later uh, as you'll see Okay, so we have yes, yes, and yes, no, yes, yes, no, no. So now I have four columns already done. And remember, it's two to the n number of, uh, of columns that we're going to get. And here we have three conditions. So two cubed is eight. So we're, we're halfway there. So we did all the n's. So now we're I'm going to do, we did all the y's, sorry. Now we're going to do the n's for the ns. Yes, yes. And here we could have no, yes, no. 
here we could have uh, no, no, yes, and here no, no, no. And now we have eight columns. So those are all of our columns. So now what we do, uh, we now we're set up. We have we listed all our conditions, all our condition alternatives, and all possible actions. So now what we have to do is we have to read through um, the problem statement and uh, decide. Now we um, put an X for the corresponding action entry. Okay, so no, okay, let's look at the first bullet. Uh, applicants who have completed an S, so that means an S would be yes. So that so right now we're just zo zoning in on these four columns because applicants who have completed, so the NS will be yes. Okay, so now the second the criteria is with either a degree in computing or three years programming experience are placed on grade two. Okay, so let's see, grade two. So here we have an S is yes, and degree is yes, and programming is yes. So the or certainly matches, right? Because if, if they have a degree or programming experience, that certainly matches, okay? And we go here, the same thing, yes and S. Yes has a degree, okay? So we, so we match, because remember here it says either or degree or three years are placed on grade two. So this one matches because it has a degree, the person has a degree. And here again, NS is yes, degree is no, but the programming is yes. So again, matches, so we can put an X. So that takes care of our, full, our first bullet. Okay, let's look at the second one. Applicants who have completed an S, okay, so we're still looking at these four columns because the completed NS is true, who have both a degree in computing and three years in programming are placed on grade three. Okay, so that that means they have an S, they, they have a degree, and they have programming. So the only column that satisfies that is this one. So we'll put that here. Uh, yeah, some people might notice there's a little bit of inconsistency. How can you be placed on two grades at the same time? But we'll, we will be cleaning that up uh, a little bit later. Okay, applicants without NS, without. So now we're going to concentrate on these four columns because the NS here is no. And right, right now we're doing without NS with either a degree in computing or three years programming experience are placed on grade one. Okay. So they need either one to be placed on grade one. Okay, so here, here's grade one. Okay, so no, but yes, this one actually has both. So we, even more so it has either one, it has both. So we can put an X here. And this, this one here, yeah, has a degree, no programming, but we're still matching the criteria because we have a degree or three years programming experience. And this certainly matches because there's a degree. So we go to grade one. This one has no NS, no degree, but hey, look, programming experience. So degree or programming experience. So we're still matching. So we can go here. And this one has no NS, no degree, and no programming. So it does not match here, OK? So we just don't do anything. OK, let's look at the fourth bullet. Applicants without NS who have both a degree and three years programming are placed on grade two. So without an S, we're looking for the N, um, the N in the first row, but who have both a degree and three years programming are placed on grade two. So this would correspond to this column because we have a no for an S, a yes for degree, and a yes for programming experience. So they get on to grade two. So we'll put an X here and all other applicants are rejected. Okay, so um, hmm, how do we handle that one? Uh, you know what, I think we're actually missing an action to, um, to take the, the rejected into consideration. See, because this column here has nothing and this column here has nothing as well. So we'll add, we'll add one action here and caps, caps lock, we're going to undo that, reject it. And we'll left justify that just to make it consistent. And it says all other applicants. So anywhere where you don't see an X where we didn't pigeonhole some, uh, 
someone yet, then we put it as rejected. Maybe, oh, now I'll put my caps lock back on. And now those are rejected. So that's it. That's the first pass. We just constructed uh, the, uh, a full limited entry decision table according to this criteria. Uh, on our next set, on our, my next little video, I'm going to show how to simplify this.